Hi, I'm Tash from Heart and Design. You'll need your watercolour paints, whether they're tubes or whether they're like mine in blocks. You also get watercolour pencils where you would colour it and water them down. You need watercolour brushes. They don't have to be watercolour brushes, but have brushes of some kind. Um, you'll need a little palette of some kind just to mix your colours in. You need a jar with some water to wash your brushes. Um, it's good to have... Um, a rag or some paper towel around um, just in case you make any mistakes it helps to clear up you'll need a pencil to draw you'll need your kneadable eraser or a rubber eraser and if you decide to outline your picture at the end you also need an outline pen I hope I've gone through everything <laughs> so I'm just going to go over the whole drawing now with my kneadable eraser and I'm just gently remo removing the harsher lines I always say this in every lesson, watercolour is transparent, so when you lay it down, you don't want to see these really thick pencil lines. You can still see where to put the paint, so it doesn't really, um, doesn't affect what you're doing, but it will affect the final image. So there we go. I have now removed the really thick, sharp edges of the pencil. Um, we're going to move into painting in. I think let's go with um, the sandy colour first. Um, just realised I haven't got the picture, so I'm going to quickly... Okay, so that's the colours we are looking for. We need to start with a blue for this um, surfboard here. I'm going to go for the lighter blue around the edges. Now all I've done this time is I want to be quite detailed so I haven't watered it down too much because it's a really thin line I've just gone in and got the color straight out of my block with a tiny bit of water added okay so that's the first color now I can't go in and paint on on that now because it's wet if I put a blue color in there inside it will just mix in with that and it'll be one big blob so I'm going to dry it quickly you can use a hair dryer this is um just a crafting, crafting heat tool. I used to do lots of crafting, paper craft. So we go over that until that dries. The paper will curl. You can always tape it down, which I often do do, but for these quick videos, I don't worry too much. Okay, so that's the outline bit done. I'm going to also then collect in the next blue, and I'm, I'm also not going to mix it in the in there because I'm going straight in. It's just a nice blue. I already have the blue don't really need to mix it I'm just taking it straight from the block right and you would just take it straight from the tubes if you had watercolor in tubes okay so there you don't really want any harsh lines so if you're getting harsh lines just kind of smudge the paint around until those harsh lines are gone okay so that is the center of that board now we need a nice flesh color for the next one so I'm going to um, I think I'm gonna go straight in with this let's have a look yeah it's a bit too yellow so I am going to mix a color I'm going to mix the yellow ochre with some white and that should get us quite close to that really pale color on that board I mean at the end of the day you don't have to copy the colors I've got the, the surfboard so they can be any colour you want. Just go with the flow and do what you want to do. I think we're getting somewhere. It's a bit lighter, but it's still quite yellowy. We want it to be cream. So let's get some more white in there. We're getting there. It's getting lighter and lighter. I think another big blob of white. Just going to push it in from the end of the brush where I've picked it up and then mix it in. I think that should do it. Okay, so this is going to be on, yeah, that's perfect, on the middle part of that surfboard. There we go. Love it. So then we've got another line. It won't take much to dry. It was a thin layer. Then we need two purples. And again, 
they're going to be quite thin lines. Now you can swap to be more accurate over to a smaller brush, but I tend to just use the point of mine anyway because it does come to quite a nice point. So I'm going to just pick up some purple direct. It's my darker purple and I'm picking it up direct from the palette and just placing it in place using the tip of my watercolour brush. I hope you can see that. And again there. Um, right, then I'll just use my tissue to dry and clean my brush. I'm then going to pick up a, a lighter purple, which is the next colour here. Now we can use the brush. I'm still just using mainly the tip, but I can press down a bit harder. There we go, because the purple is um, on the thicker bit. Now, we need to do some nice sandy colours, because you can see on there it's kind of a grey colour, first of all, which is fine. So, let's put a bit of grey down. I'm just going to check my brush. That's fine. So, the grey is first, and I'm just going to push it round like so there we go perfect it's a bit darker over that side so we'll push it across perfect okay and then i'm going to come in with a nice yellow ochre sand color and i don't need to mix it this time because i can see that's that's the perfect color with yellow ochre there we go Yellow ochre to me in my head is sand. It's a sandy colour. But of course, um, all beaches, the sand is not always the same. Depends on where you are. If it's a lot near, it can be quite stony if you're in some areas. Where I am, it's very soft and very yellow, but there are patches of areas where there's a lot of shells and stones. Okay, and then we're going to do the sunshine. It's quite orangey in the picture. I'm just going to go for direct yellow. I want it to be nice and bright. So I'm going to go in there. Do that sun. Perfect. I'm going to do... I'm not even worrying about the shape of them too much. I'm just dropping it in. Because we can do the outline of that afterwards. Now, you might be thinking... Um, this looks a bit pale down here and that's fine. So I'm actually going to use some yellow and from the sun and with the yellow ochre and just bring it in a bit. It's a bit too much there. I just want to dab it in a bit and bring a bit of yellowness to the game. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So smudge it all in. And then what I'm going to do is bring some yellow ochre into the to the grey area. There. Great. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. It's nice just to experiment, to try colours on top of colours and just see what happens. The yellow ochre was nice for the sand, but I just felt that it was a bit dull in places. Right, let's give it a big dry. And then we can go over it with our, our, our liner pen. nearly there right so you can obviously just let it dry naturally it actually doesn't take all that much time when you're drying it naturally but because i'm teaching i just wanted to get that stage done right so now i'm going in to make everything pop now move it around rather than trying to get your hand and moving your hand around move the paper Sometimes we can be so engrossed in what we're doing, we forget, oh, we can move the paper. 
Now, if I was doing a, a, um, an actual painting, like a more realistic to life painting, then I probably wouldn't do these lines and I would just use colour to emphasise what the image is all about. But this is a drawing, it's an illustration rather than a painting. So I don't really need to do that. Okay. And what I think with illustrations, I do like with watercolours, just to make them pop a bit because they are watery, is to get that pen in and make it pop. So then we're going to do the outside layer. Try not to leave too many white gaps. You don't have to go around the paint perfectly, but I do think it's great if you don't need too many gaps. And then, then we'll do the inner layer of the sand. And then all of a sudden it just comes together. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, it, the, below in the comment section, you'll see links to my websites. There's the area where all my tutorials are, videos and also downloadables. And I really like, um, really like you to come and join the gang. Um, hope you have a good day and hopefully we'll join you and see you in the next video. Take care everyone, bye.